Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So, so far uh, the physical layer discussion we discussed about the, the basic concepts related to physical layer, the basic concepts related to signals from the point of view of computer networking and data communication, basically data communication section. And uh, uh, in this video, uh, we are going to again uh, discuss something related to signals about the basic characteristics, the basic parameters, features related to signals. Okay, so we have already covered the basic definition of a signal, but still let us just uh, refresh it in a quick way. In the previous video, I have discussed that. So, signal is basically uh, any function that represents the behavior, the nature of a physical parameter, a process or anything. So it can be uh, simple, this audio signal, the speech signal, which I am, uh, we are, when we talk, the variations in the amplitude, uh, they can be represented in, as a, in the form of a signal or the various uh, physiological signals such as ECG, EEG, EMG, which give information about the functioning of the heart. Uh, the brain, skeletal muscles or any body parts for that matter. Then another example can be an earthquake signal. Okay, the when earthquake happens, the vibrations that are produced in the ground, they can be measured with the help of a sensor, be it a pressure sensor or force sensor or a vibration sensor, piezoelectric sensor, and it will give certain signal. Okay, so signal is everywhere. Uh, it's just uh, that uh, we have to measure it and analyze it to extract information which is uh, which which you can use to uh, understand it in a better way so in the signals and systems communications and in data communications we are mainly concerned with the time domain signals okay so that the signal is function of time okay so there can be signals with many variables, a function of many variables. It can be time, space coordinates or any other physical uh, values or parameters such as temperature, pressure, humidity, whatever. So it depends on the nature of the signal, the type of signal. But in signals and systems, we are ma mainly concerned with this time domain signal. Okay. So... When we discuss about the signal characteristics, uh, the basic signal characteristics that we should understand about are the amplitude or the peak amplitude, the time period of the signal, frequency of the signal, phase or phase shift or and wavelength finally. So all these are interrelated, time period, frequency and phase, wavelength, so all of these are related in one way or the other. So let us discuss it. So another important thing, signals are of two types, periodic and non-periodic. So we will discuss this from the point of view of periodic signals. Okay, so periodic signals have a fixed pattern or shape which it repeats itself after a fixed interval of time called as time period. So if we are discussing time period means the signal should be periodic. Okay. So they have a fixed shape or pattern and popular signals that are used for analyzing any in any uh, field of uh, electrical electronics instrumentation or communication engineering. The signals that are used for analysis for testing whatever sine, sinusoidal or cosinusoidal signals. There are other test signals as well step ramp impulse but for periodic signal analysis sine and cosine signals are the popular choice. Okay so now let us discuss about these. Uh, signal characteristics one by one. First is peak amplitude. Okay. So, amplitude is basically or the peak amplitude is the maximum value of the signal. Okay. The signal intensity, the absolute value, the, ma the absolute of the maximum value that is called as the peak amplitude. Suppose we have this signal, this waveform basically a sign signal the peak point if we draw a line a horizontal line where it touches this axis the amplitude axis that value is the peak amplitude the maximum value of the signal same is there for the negative case but it is the absolute value so it will always be a 
so these are the positive and negative peaks the peak amplitude similarly if we have another waveform here this is the positive peak the maximum value in the positive direction this is the maximum value in the negative direction so obviously you can see this has a higher peak amplitude as compared to this okay b is greater than a so why is this amplitude important so when we discuss about the energy content and power content of the signals the amplitude plays a huge role also in various uh, you know modulation techniques amplitude modulation and other things amplitude has a huge role to play so we have to understand this concept of amplitude in a good way okay so it is proportional to the energy content of the signal in the communication systems video we have discussed about the various types of modulation amplitude frequency uh, and all of that so this amplitude is basically proportional to the energy the amount of energy contained in the signal now the higher the energy more is the propagation distance okay so the amplitude can have different units depending on the nature of the signals so we are basically concerned with the electric signals so they are measured in terms of volts or currents can also be used amperes next time period and frequency okay time period is basically the time taken by the signal to complete one cycle one complete oscillation and frequency is the number of such complete cycles completed in one second so these are these two are interrelated okay time period is the time taken by a signal to complete one complete waveform one complete fixed pattern frequency is the number of such repetitions in one second such complete repetitions of the pattern the periodic pattern in one second so unit of time period is basically seconds frequency is hertz other denominations are also used kilo mega so these are used but basic unit is this okay let us understand time period and frequency so here we have this waveform from here to here the duration is 1 second now this waveform this is the fixed pattern starting from here positive peak negative peak again back to zero so this is the fixed pattern the number of such complete patterns in one second are one two two cycles with two complete repetitions in one second so frequency by definition is the number of such complete oscillations complete repetitions in one second so here the frequency is two two hertz time period is the reciprocal of frequency okay time period is the reciprocal of frequency or we can say frequency is the reciprocal of time period that is the relationship between time period and frequency okay frequency is the reciprocal of time period time period is the reciprocal of frequency okay so here number of complete oscillations in one second is two two cycles frequency is two hertz time period is one by two seconds okay it is the time taken by this wave to complete one complete oscillations another example here again the sinusoidal signal starting from zero positive peak negative peak again zero this is one complete pattern the number of such patterns completed in one second from here to here is 1 2 3 okay four complete oscillations in one second so four cycles four complete cycles means frequency is 4 hertz time period is reciprocal of frequency means 1 by 4 seconds okay the time taken for one complete oscillation okay so this is time period and frequency they are interrelated reciprocals of each other okay now the next parameter which is phase okay phase uh, is again important feature of the signal because uh, we have a separate you know modulation technique phase modulation which we'll discuss in communication systems 
so we have already discussed amplitude and frequency uh, phase modulation i have not discussed i will discuss it in the in in the future videos in the communication system section so phase is uh, basically the position of the signal with respect to the starting time origin at time t equals to 0 okay the position of the waveform so the unit of phase is basically two units degrees or radians you know the relationship between degree and radian pi radian is 180 degrees okay so let us understand phase so here this signal again a sinusoidal periodic signal starting from zero positive peak negative peak positive peak negative peak, and continues so here the signal starts from zero itself t equals to zero it starts from origin that's why it has zero degree phase shift no phase shift at all no phase difference in this case this signal is starting basically from here okay so this is basically if you see this is a cosine signal if you neglect this part if you neglect this part okay this neglect this part just focus from this at time t equals to 0 it is starting from here cos 0 is 1 that just for now you consider that so this is a cosine signal cosine signal means 90 degree phase shift phase difference with respect to sine signal okay sin 90 degree plus theta cos theta sin 90 degree minus theta all you know that okay so that 90 degree phase shift gives us a cosine signal so here it is a 90 degree phase shift with respect to this original signal next here one complete half cycle is starting from this point so if you consider it from this point t equals to 0 we get the negative half cycle if we compare from here to this signal with this signal from 0 this signal and this signal here it is the positive half cycle here it is a negative half cycle so a complete 180 degree phase shift okay now if one complete oscillation gets missing it is a 360 degree phase shift which is same as a 0 degree phase shift okay 0 degree and 360 degree are same okay so this is the phase shift or phase the position of the waveform now it is very much important in uh, circuit analysis it is also important in communication systems and in data communication because basically we are communicating signals from one point to another so various things will come into play so this is all about phase the phase shift okay phase difference now we have to discuss about wavelength now again i said all these things are interrelated so wavelength by definition is the distance traveled by a signal the waveform in one period okay this time period time period is the time taken by the signal to complete one oscillation so wavelength is the distance traveled by that signal during that duration of that one period so the mathematical representation the formula is wavelength is propagation speed the velocity of the signal multiplied with the time period or period is the inverse or uh, the reciprocal of uh, frequency so we can say propagation speed by frequency period is 1 by frequency time period is 1 by fre frequency reciprocal of frequency so wavelength can be represented in this way or this way okay so propagation speed is normally taken as the speed of light okay velocity of light which is taken as c 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and so uh, lambda is equal to c into t time period speed of light or c into 1 by f time period is reciprocal of frequency so this this is a periodic signal sine signal this is the time period the time taken by the signal to complete one oscillation the distance traveled by the signal that is the wavelength okay during this duration so here we have discussed the basic things related to the various signal parameters or characteristics such as peak amplitude time period frequency phase wavelength 
Now all of these things will come into play because we'll also discuss about certain modulation techniques that are used in uh, data communication. So it will be similar to communication systems but with subtle differences. So their amplitude will come into play, variation in amplitude, variation in frequency, phase, wavelength. Also there are various multiplexing techniques. Uh, okay, multiplexing I have not discussed. So there are various uh, FDM, frequency division multiplexing, time division multiplexing, wavelength division multiplexing. So all of these things are there. So there these concepts will come into play. So if we have a good understanding of these things, then we can understand them in a better way okay so we have discussed this so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much